A Maple Grove man who is fighting not one but two deadly diseases is doing something quite remarkable. And doctors give Bob Carlstrand only months to live. Reporter Sonia Gowen shows us how he's making his final days count. Well, right now I feel pretty good. By all accounts, 65-year-old Bob Carlstrand has lived a very full and active life. He enjoys playing golf. These were all kept in a box before. He's hit the greens on at least 535 courses in Minnesota. And he's kept track of every, every course I've played. Bob has also traveled to many places. You know, Argentina, Bolivia, Peru, Chile, Ecuador. Bob was also in the Air Force, helping to coordinate B-52 bombers during the Vietnam War. And then I spent one year in Thailand during the Vietnam War. War in 1969 and 1970. But now things have slowed down for Bob. He's fighting colon cancer and a terminal lung disease, pulmonary fibrosis. I have no pain, which is a good, good part of the disease, but I get short of breath and cough a lot. No one would blame Bob if he took this time to concentrate on himself. But nobody knows when they're going to go. But that's not what he's doing. He's giving away his things to others who might need it the most. And this is stuff that I'm still sorting, still sorting through getting rid of. He's also donating his house, the one he's lived in for the last 38 years. But it's been a real good house because it's in a good location. Bob is donating his house to Twin Cities Habitat for Humanity with one stipulation, that the home goes to a veteran. So I thought if I give back to a veteran and help them out a little bit when they're starting out, that would be the best way to go. When Bob is gone, Habitat will come in and spruce up the place. Now we get to help another family. I mean, it's just a very wonderful thing that he's done. Bob's days may be limited, but his spirit will forever live on in the lives he's touched. Like they say, you can't take it with you. So you might as well, might as well use it. And if somebody else can use it, so much better. Now Bob's really got a big heart. He also donated his retirement fund to the University of Minnesota Nursing School. The $1 million donation will provide six scholarships this year alone. And uh, Shannon and Mike, oh my God, he's, he's such a wonderful guy. He um, actually went to the School of Business, but he said he wanted to donate to the nursing school because nurses have helped him so much during his illness. What an amazing guy. Remarkable. He is, really is. Right. 